everyone and welcome to Valdemosa. It goes without saying the Valdemosa is one of the prettiest villages on the island. Uh, could it be the prettiest? I don't know. I'll let you guys decide for yourself after watching this video. As you drive into Valdemosa from Palma, you're met with this insanely magnetic view, which you can see just behind me. It's a village that almost feels like hugged and protected and hidden in this UNESCO protected mountains. And the great thing is that if you look at all these mountains that surround the village, it's all rustic and protected land. So that means that pretty much in short, you just can't build on this land anymore. The village is about a 15, 20 minute drive from Palma. And actually that's one of the things I love most about this village. You are, isolated in the mountains you get that serene mountain energy yet at the same time within literally 15 20 minutes you can get that city buzz uh, go for dinner in palma and actually if you went in the other direction towards Deya, you could be in Deya in about 15 minutes uh, with all the restaurants that that has to offer Like some of the other villages along this coastline, Valdemosa has uh, an artistic flair and is seeped in history. Like this guy, Chopin, who spent some time living in Mallorca back in 1838, I believe, with his lover and writer, George Sands. And she actually wrote an account of her time living in Mallorca, which is called A Winter in Mallorca. And more recently, it's been home to famous actors such as Michael Douglas and Catherine Zeta-Jones, who have a house between uh, Dea and Valdemosa, which they've called home for many years. of having a home in Valdemosa, I'm sure many of you might be wondering, what is it like to live here? So as I mentioned earlier, Valdemosa's location is spot on for those in search of that kind of rustic um, mountain energy, but at the same time, they don't want to be too far away from the conveniences of modern life, such as private schools, maybe your yacht mooring, uh, the city buzz of Palma. have pretty much everything you could need at a maximum 20 minute drive from the village and this makes it a great base for all year round living. In the mountains you'll find old Mallorquin fincas and posesiones which have been converted into these incredible luxury family homes which stretch anywhere from a million up to 30 million. village itself you'll find these beautiful quaint old townhouses just like these ones behind me which can market anywhere from roughly around 400,000 to a million it really depends on how much outside space they have so if you're not quite ready to leap into the world of real estate in Mallorca you might be wanting a holiday here and you might be thinking when's the best time to visit and I would say it really depends what you're coming here for. Uh, right now, we're actually filming in the middle of February, which is my personal favorite time of year. The winter is such a special time. And if you haven't discovered Mallorca in the winter, I would definitely recommend. As I said before, you've got hikes, you've got the quieter roads, you've got the winter sun. Uh, it's a really special time and you really get that sense of community. Um, there are a few restaurants that tend to close over January and February, uh, but they are back open again, sort of typically from the 1st of March onwards. 
If you're the kind of person that's looking for a guaranteed table at your favorite restaurant or topping up your tan, then you're probably best coming anywhere between mid-March and end of October time. Speaking of restaurants, Estayer is probably one of my top five restaurants on the whole island. It used to be an old uh, mechanics garage and they re recently restored it and they've actually even left the old Michelin sign outside. It specializes in tapas, fusion, small plates and the food is absolutely exquisite. Nicolas, the incredibly talented and super friendly chef, he creates these incredible fusion dishes where he uses local and seasonal vegetables, many of which actually grow in the vegetable garden right next to the restaurant, which is an absolute treat. a tour of Valdemosa and not show you uh, Camolinas. Valdemosa is actually famous for these coca de patatas, which you can see here. And Camolinas, this spot, actually does the best ones on the whole island. It's, it's a really well-known spot. And the best thing is it's open all year round and you get to enjoy it in this beautiful sunny garden. Here we are in February. And I promise this isn't all for me. has so many other amazing wining and dining spots and I could take the U to Mall today but I, they would literally have to roll me out of this village uh, so I'm just gonna let you guys have a sneak peek around yourself. And if you feel up for it you could head down to Puerto Valdemosa which is about a five minute drive from Valdemosa down a windy track and once you get down there you could go for a swim, have a beer at the restaurant then you might just want to keep it to one beer because you have to attempt the road back up to get back to the village. So that concludes our trip around Valle I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I feel like we've got so much that we could say about this incredible village, but we haven't got all day. So I will leave it here. If you're ever interested in renting or buying a home with us, we'd always be happy to share our knowledge and join you on your special journey. Uh, but for now, I will say goodbye. Bye-bye.